What's up, YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode I am always contending for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. And in this episode, it's Lutheran Liturgy. So here's my question before I get to this video that I'm going to show you. Are you Lutheran or aren't you? And if you're not, have you been to a Lutheran church and what did you see in their divine service on Sunday that you have questions about? What do Lutherans practice on Sunday that you don't quite understand? I'd love to talk about it. Meet me down in the comments below. It'll be a great, great time. So what I'm doing, I prefaced it in my last video with a little bit of a teaser. I have been sent a video that is almost, I don't, I, I'm really fuzzy on the math. I'm going to go ballpark at 10 years old at this point. It was when I was at Concordia University, Wisconsin, so older than 10 years. Uh, I was majoring in theology or pastoral ministry or minoring in biblical languages or whatever it was that I was doing there. There was a bunch of theology. Now, when I went to Concordia University, Wisconsin, because nobody answered my questions about Lutheran liturgy when I was younger, I left and became a Presbyterian fundagelicalist. I don't know, almost borderline oneness Pentecostal. No biblical discernment whatsoever. I was swept completely away by what the Lutheran fathers would call enthusiasm or what we today should maybe call mysticism, this this worship of self, that worship meant nothing unless I got that good God feeling. And that, inside of me, driven and created by moving uh, musical bridges, that had to have been the Holy Spirit. But when I was at Concordia University, I took a class called Lutheran Worship. And it was instrumental in finally answering the questions of my youth. Why do I see this in church on Sunday in Lutheran churches? What, is, what does this mean? What is the Kyrie? What, what, wh why are we saying these prayers at this time? Why are we standing? Why are we uh, sitting? And it, in my old Lutheran church for my youth, why are we kneeling? And so th Lutheran worship as a class taught by Dr. Mashke uh, really was instrumental in teaching me what it meant to be a Lutheran and what, not so much what Lutheran worship is, but what are the gifts of God that his children through baptism receive in the divine service on Sunday through his word and his sacraments. And then, instrument, I complete change of mind to loving the Lutheran history, heritage, that is our liturgy, it is our birthright. And Reverend William Whedon just recently said on another phenomenal YouTube video of Lutherans, Lutherans are the continuation of Western Catholicism after the restoration of the gospel in the 1500s. And I think that's why most Protestants will look at Lutheran liturgy and see the vestments and see the candles and hear the chanting and see the kneeling and even see this and think, you that's too Catholic. It's insanely Catholic. We are the continuation of the Western Catholic Church after it has been redeemed and restored by the rediscovery of the gospel in the 1500s. The gospel being good news for you of what Jesus has done in your stead, not pay me this much money when a coin in the coffer rings a soul from purgatory springs. So let's get to it. Let's watch the final exam. Was it the final exam? It was the final project for Lutheran worship to lead a divine service. Now you're going to see that this is edited like for time, like whole swaths of the liturgy kind of cut out. But I'm going to show you this video of me once I had finally learned why Lutherans do what we do. And in future videos, I'll reference back to this one. We can laugh at how pathetic I was uh, 10 years ago. Go right ahead. Leave a joke in the comment section below. I have a huge sense of humor. Uh, and we'll reference back to this because I want to start talking about Lutheran liturgy. Because what God gives and the fullness of time encapsulated in Lutheran liturgy is definitely worth talking about. So without any further ado, here it is. Raw and unedited 
my leading a divine service at Concordia University, Wisconsin for the culmination of Lutheran worship as taught by Dr. Timothy Maschke. Please stand. say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Please kneel. Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Most merciful God. The mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ, was given to die for us, and for his sake God forgives us all our sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God, and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. May the Lord, who has begun this good work in us, bring it to completion. In the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand. The entrance hymn for today is hymn number 160, O Holy Spirit, enter in, hymn number 160. Please be seated. 
The hymn of the day is hymn number 314, Christ our life, or radiance true, hymn number 314. Please stand. We confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the light of the world is God. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. For the sin and Lord, that they may continue to grow in faith and truth and serve you as a light to the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all branches of our armed forces, that they may continue to be safe as they protect our freedom and they protect the freedom of others. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the gathering of our offerings.
We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us through this salutary gift, and we implore you that of your mercy you would strengthen us through the same in faith towards you and in fervent love towards one another. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the future when we break apart the Lutheran liturgy into its sections. What is the invocation? What is confession? Why absolution? I mean, really dig into this. I'm looking forward to working on that in the future. And until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins.